I have talked a few times about the importance of reading pigment codes in order to understand what's in the paint color you buy. Like any code, it can be confusing to know how to find and interpret the information, but it's actually quite simple. You can find these codes on the paint tube labels or on the paint manufacturer's website. And pigment codes have three parts, a letter, a second or third letter, and a number. The first letter is almost exclusively P for pigment. Then the second letter tells you the hue or color family a pigment belongs in. For example, R for red, Y for yellow, BR for brown, W for white, and M for metallic. Then the final part of the code is a number, and this number is given to a pigment based on when it was added to the color index. As you know the color family by the second or third letter, this final number tells you the exact pigment within that color family that is inside the paint. I've never learned all these numbers by heart, even for common pigments, but it's easy to look up this pigment number in the color index online or simply typing in the whole code into Google 